Now I'll show you how to optimize your header area. So in sections, go to header. And now we'll go through each element one by one. So we can customize if the cart icon should be cart or a bag. So you can see bag looks like that. You can leave it and or you can leave it as a cart. I'll leave it as a cart. Mm, you can select a logo for your store. So let's select an image. I'll just upload a favicon. I'll see how it looks like. Uh, probably it will be too small, but let's just see. <laughs> yeah, it is it is very small. So instead, what I will do, I will design the same image, however, as a logo with a transparent background in Canva, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So in Canva, create a design and I will design a square logo, custom dimensions, let's put 300, uh, 300 and click create design. Now we can add the same ele element as we did, so simply click on elements and select this flower. Okay, so I enlarged, I, I centered it, and I'll change the color of the flower so it matches the domain. So it was green, I'll change it slightly. It sits against this kind of green background, so maybe either very dark green or white will, will be best. What I'll do, I'll create two different designs, upload them, and then see which one works best. So I'll change it to darker green first, okay, and I'll simply duplicate design in Canva and I'll change the color of the flower to white. Now I'll change the title to logo and download it. And here is important that I will select transparent background so it won't show the white background with this image. Compress the file. Just remember that the transparent background is available for the premium for the premium account. So you would need to pay the premium for, for the premium account with Canva and download. And now we can select our image. So click select image and you can either drag it or upload it. So now I uploaded two of them and I'll see which one works best, either dark or white. I kind of like the, the white because it stands out a little bit more. Click select and I'll change the height of this logo. Let's see how it changes in the header. So let's go to 31st. It looks slightly bigger. Let's go a little bit more, 40, okay, I go to 60, I like that. Okay, so it's maximum size and I like it because it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, easier to see and obviously you can click save but I will show you how to uh, add other elements. So enable transparent header on the home page. I'll show you what it looks like. The transparent header on the home page means that the header elements are transparent against this um, this hero image. You can disable it. So I'll show you what happens. There is a a panel with. Um, with a color background. So if you like it better, if you think the logo and the menu will look much better with this one, you can leave it as it is. I'll leave it as transparent background for now. You can also select alternative logo if you wanted to display a different logo on a transparent background, then on other pages, you can do it right here. You can also select the color or change the color of transparent header icon. So all of these icons in tra transparent header, you can change the color here and I'll show you how it looks like. Oops. 
as you see they changed to dark green so they kind of disappeared so I'll make them a little bit darker to show you a little bit better and as you can see they are now darker but only they will have this color on the transparent menu they will go back to the default color uh, on other elements or on other pages or even if you scroll down well, you can't see them because it's not a sticky menu but on other pages um, they will have their default colors but I'll, I kind of like the, uh, the white so I'll leave it as it was previously and obviously primary navigation so this is your main menu linked here secondary navigation is a footer menu so it is being displayed right below here you can choose to show your social icons so they they will be shown in a header area however i haven't connected social media profiles yet but if you do they will be Mm, they will be shown in a head area now you can add announcement bar <clears throat> and this is really useful for for showing your um your your deals your shipping policy your offers because this bar is displayed on every page so this is this is really good area to promote some offer here so maybe we can put free delivery on all orders over a hundred dollars okay and you can link it to your shipping page if you'd like you can change the icon now we've got a, a check mark but you can change it to something that will sh uh, match our announcements so for example delivery truck or let's say price tag or which one would work mm, let's say box because it's delivery so for example free delivery but I, I kind of like the um the, the check mark okay then and then you can change the color of the announcement bar and the text. If you like the look of it, simply click save.